Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Sir Dark Cobra with a tutorial on how to set up USB for Xbox simulations on death mode. Now for the people who already know how to do this, with all due respect, this video isn't for you guys. This is for the people who are new to the emulation world and want to know how to do it. So that's why this video is here. Now you're thinking that you could just put game files onto a USB, pop it into your Xbox and boom, there it is. Yay. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's not how it happens. It needs special permissions in order for it to happen. And that's why this video is going on. So let's get into it. So what you will need is a USB of eight gigs or higher. Remember, the higher the storage, the more games you can store to it. Keep that in mind. So once you have your USB, you will put it into your PC or laptop and you will open your file explorer and find your USB, which will be here. Mine is USB drive E. Now, if you sit there and pop your USB into your Xbox and try to find that games, it will be classified as drive E. Keep that in mind. So what you want to do is you'll right click it and you'll go to your properties. Right here, you will see your file system, meaning this is what your USB is formatted to, which mine is FAT32. Tip, FAT32 does not work with Xbox emulation, so you will need to format that to NTFS, which I am going to show you. So you'll go to your USB, you'll right click, and you'll go up to format. You'll change it from FAT32 to NTFS right here, and you'll click start. And you'll hit OK, and it will be formatting to NTFS instead of FAT32, which is about to happen right about now. As you see, it's just formatted to NTFS. So once you do that, you'll, you'll close all this out, and you'll go back to your file explorer, which is here. You'll go to the exact same USB that you just formatted to NTFS. You'll right-click again and go to Properties. As you can see right here, it is now NTFS. So what you want to do now is you want to go up here to security, click on that, and it will take you to the properties of here. As you can see, permissions has all permissions for this USB drive, but you need to go deeper. So you find the special permissions and advanced settings right here, and you'll click on advanced. Once you click on that, another window will pop up here. What you would do, you will click on add right here. You'll go up here to select principal. You'll go over here to advanced. You'll click on that. You'll pull up another window, which you will go right here to find now. You'll click on that and it will search for the results. The one you will need to find is right here. It says all application packages. You'll click on that and you'll click OK. Now it will go to the previous one, but this time it has all application packages here, meaning it will be applied to that. So once that happens, you'll click OK. You'll go back. If you want to, you can click right. You can check the box for right and check the box for full control, meaning you will have full control of the USB, which is a good thing, I believe. So you'll click on that or you'll click OK right here and it'll take you back to the main advanced security screen, which is right here. It will show the principle of the all application packages right here. So meaning that it will be applied to it once you click apply. However, before you do that, you want to go down to this box here and check that. I don't remember why, but I'm pretty sure it's a good thing. So once you click apply, this box will go up saying that if you want to continue, be sure to hit yes. This box might show up here, but I don't think it changes anything. So you just hit continue. And then you'll go to OK right here and OK. Right there, you just set up your USB for the Xbox simulations. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a file game into that USB and I'll show you in the next video on how it will work. So I'm just going to move it over to my USB drive E here. And as you can see, it is being moved over there. But this is what I can do for now. I'll probably drop another video on how it will work onto the emulation world. Be sure to hit that like button. If you want, leave a comment. If you're interested, subscribe to my channel. I'll probably drop more videos if it comes down to it. 
Thanks for listening, and I hope this tutorial works for you guys. Peace.